Good evening, boys and girls, and welcome to another 100% achievement guide for, this time, Bluey the video game. A nice, quick, and easy one. Uh, it takes around a couple of hours to complete, maybe less, depends how fast you want to get through it. Uh, and I'm going to take you step by step through each one. We're going to get every single achievement. Again, 22 achievements on this one. Uh, and it is on all platforms, so it's available on PlayStation, Xbox, and PC. I am playing this on uh, PC, but I am playing it on the Game Pass for PC. So I'm not playing it on Steam. Um, it should be available on Steam. I'm not 100% sure, actually, but it should be on there. However, we're going to get through it as fast as we possibly can. Um, yeah, I'm going to take you step by step through each one. Uh, the slowest part of the game is the cutscenes. Um, we can't skip any of the cutscenes where usually when I do these videos... Uh, we skip the cutscenes, we skip all the dialogue and stuff like that. Uh, we can't skip any of that, but there isn't, it isn't too bad. So it kind of flows quite well with the game. So we're not going to be stuck on these cutscenes. Uh, I'm going to guide you all the way through it. Um, we're going to get every single achievement by the end of it. Uh, along the way, we are also going to be doing uh, the collectibles. There is three achievements or four achievements for collectibles. We will get those along the way, uh, but the achievements uh, will get the, like, the final parts of those achievements right at the end of the game. So don't worry too much about those. Just follow along carefully. Pause the game where you need to, and uh, and we'll go ahead and uh, get all that complete without issue uh, you shouldn't miss anything nothing is really missable other than the collectibles uh, but again you can go back and forth through each of the episodes and, and collect what you are missing if you need to so uh, any questions please don't hesitate to uh, drop a comment below and i'll do my best to help you guys and of course offer feedback if you've got any issues with the game if you notice any mistakes i've done anything like that or um or you just enjoy the game and you like it let me know below in the comments so i can improve my guides for for the future um would be very much appreciated otherwise hit that thumbs up that is very much appreciated uh and of course if you enjoy all these kind of videos uh please do subscribe hit that subscribe button uh, i'm doing more and more 100 percent uh completion games uh, there's not too many in my library at the minute uh, or on my youtube channel library that is um but we are building them up slowly but surely and of course we have the weekly achievements that uh, everybody likes to do so do check that out subscribe if you want to uh, it's totally optional it's totally free anyway uh, and that's it really so right let's get started shall we so we're going to start a brand new game now before we do start a brand new game uh, i just want to point out i did a weekly video on this um if you have started we did the first seven achievements of this game basically uh, so if you have progressed there, you should be able to continue from that point without missing anything. So what I would advise doing if you want to start from that point is uh, just briefly skip through this first part of the video up until where you got your achievement, just to make sure you haven't missed anything. So that's probably the safest bet then. All right, so we're going to start a brand new game. Uh, just one at the top, it doesn't really matter. And I'm playing on this, this on controller. I'm usually uh, playing mouse and keyboard, but... Just playing on the controller for now. And I'm going to choose blue. Air. So this is the first part where we have a bit of a cutscene. We can't skip this. I mean, if there is a skip button, let me know, guys, because I can't find it. But yeah, it's not actually a bad game. For a kid's game, it is pretty good. Pretty good. I mentioned this in my weekly, actually, that... Uh, there's also a Peppa Pig, and ooh, that's that's pretty painful to play when you're trying to skip through the cutscenes. It's just endless cutscenes. This is not quite the same. So this first achievement, we're pretty much going to get off the bat when it decides to hurry up. There's basically four episodes to this game as well. There we go, let's get started. Let's round up these critters, mate. All right, now we can get the ball rolling. So from the get-go, the first achievement is all we need to do on this one, bring up your start menu character selection at the very top there and 
choose a different character, so whichever one you want, and it will switch character like so. Go back to the character selection, do this on each of the characters like so, and that will give you the Family Matters achievement. But then the fourth one, or the third one, we've already played as Blue Air, and if you want to, you can have obviously go back and play the character you, you started with. That should give you the Family Matters achievement, play as all four members of the Healer family. You don't have to play the entire game or anything, you literally just have to go to the menu and switch through it all. That's the first one out of the way, nice and easy, a good start, right? Now we just need to follow the story, so let's go ahead and grab all these animals. This is going to be for the next achievement, achievement number two. So we just go up to the animal, grab it. Now for the living room, this house is a, has a strange layout as well, there's like three living rooms or lounges or whatever you want to call them. Each of these animals has a little cutscene, but luckily it's not too intrusive if you know what I mean. <laughs> Grab that one, dooby doo. To the playroom, sir. the fastest we can run as well. <laughs> Come on little fella. Get the spider. Almost there now. For the second achievement. Just have to get that uh, little dolphin on the top there. So on this one, you just jump and press X. Yeah, I mean, I guess that worked. <laughs> I guess it skipped a bit there, but um, but that should give you the second achievement at this point. It's like a zoo down here, basically. Round up all the animals. And now with this one, we just basically have to finish the episode, so... So with this one, just uh, pick up the balloon, hit the X button, and just, you don't even need to press anything, just uh, make sure you stand where the white mark is on the floor. Come on, let's go play in the backyard. And you do it several times. Now there's some other achievements tied to the back garden, uh, but we can't actually get those uh, because part of the garden is cordoned off. As you can see, we've got this, this fence that goes all the way around, so it stops us going any further. Just pick up the balloon again. Literally just stand underneath it like that. You don't even need to press anything. If you want to get it higher, press the X button and it will launch it up in the air. And then now Dad's going to ruin it for us, so... After this one, he's just going to ruin it all. Here we go. <laughs> Typical Dad, right? Game over. That's unfortunate. No, we have to find it. Come on. All right, so now we've got to find the balloon. It's basically upstairs in the house. Now, on this episode as well, you haven't got to worry about any collectibles, so don't worry about missing anything. Some stuff you can pick up, but again, you haven't got to worry about missing any of that stuff. So just follow where the arrow says on the left. Super easy to navigate. We'll come to the bedroom in the top there left corner there. But how do we get to it? We'll have to move stuff to get to it. Let's Gotta move a few things. Box in front of the pram. It looks too heavy. I can help you. If it's too heavy, maybe Dad can help you. Maybe. All right, with this one, we just got to grab the box, and uh, a little friend will help us here. Just hold down until your friend comes along. The same with the pram as well. We can't move it on our own, so we just have to sort of stand there and pull it on it. Like, and we pull until our friend comes. Teamwork makes the dream work. You heard him, boys. <laughs> I love how he just charges at it. Ooh, 
So we've got a bit of a treasure map here. So I will point out all about this treasure map and stuff, uh, where this goes shortly. Oh no, we're missing two other pieces. So we know where to look. Oh, girls, you don't want to spend your holidays looking for dad's old junk. Yes, yes we, we do. do. Please, please. <laughs> well, please, please. You can ask Uncle Stripe when you see him tomorrow. I beg you. It's like we're going on a treasure hunt, Squirts. Hooray! Great job. You finished awesome. So that is episode now, one you? complete. Your achievement for that one should pop any time now. That will give you the Gone with the Wind achievement, and that's basically just to finish you episode one. Dad's piece of map. All right, so as you can see, we've got a piece of the map. Let's put the treasure map piece in your Now what I'm going to want to show you people. before we do anything is the sticker book. So you see where the arrow is at the top there? Just head over. Right, this is basically the sticker book. This is the so sticker book. as we progress through the game, just we're going to have to gain all the stickers in this one. Like pretty much everything. So it's just gonna it's basically telling us right now what's what. Select the map at any time to continue our adventure. Okay. You've unlocked these locations. So as you can see we've got five locations there. And then underneath each location is a series of collectibles within those locations. So now if we uh if we press this big box here that you can see the, where the map is, that will pushes on to the next episode or the same episode episode two i don't think we're in any episode right now we're right we're in kind of like no man's land uh, but we are at the house so everything underneath three newspapers three cakes three leaves and three hockey sticks are found in this house so what we're going to do here is first go back so in fact let me just point out all these stickers so the stickers at the top uh, are like your normal collectibles the stickers at the bottom are all plants and what we need to do with those plants is basically water them uh, and the specific ones on specific episodes again i will point all those out so you don't have to go messing around and searching for them all and by the end of it we should have every single thing covered on this page so and that alone just this page alone will get us three achievements so right i'm just going to back out of that i'm going to press b and come out of that so right first things first Let's start with the next achievement, so we'll move on to achievement number four. This is going to be the Keepy Uppy Expert. So if you look in the bottom left corner, we have a new mini game, the, the Keepy Uppy basically, the balloon game. If you press Y, then you can select the balloon, balloon game. And what we need to do is keep the balloon up for 25 times uh, before it hits the ground. And there's a super simple way of doing this. Let's click on that and it's going to Let's activate the mini game. Keepy Uppy, Keepy uppy mate. So the way I like to do it, as you can see, I've got the balloon. Walk over here in the corner. If you look at the shadow of the balloon, just keep it in the corner there. Press X and then just stand next to it. I've messed it up already, but just let it bounce on your head. If you can keep it in the corner, you can literally just stand there. If it does that, if it slides down, then be careful it doesn't break. <laughs> there you go. Just hit it up like so and then just let it bounce on top of your head. If you get it right, you can do the entire thing. If you look on the top right corner, it says 30. We only needed to do 25, but you may as well go the full length. And that will give you the Keepy Uppy Expert. So make sure you do it 25 times without it hitting the floor and you're good to rock and roll. Now I'm gonna point out in the top left corner, as you can see, it's gave us a, a little hat. And every three stars uh, will basically get another hat. And if you do all of those, uh, if we get, I think, a total of 66 stars, uh, that will pretty much give us all the hats. So the way to get those stars is doing the mini game like I've just done, or every collectible that we pick up uh, will give us one star as well. So we'll kind of naturally get those as we go along anyway, so you haven't got to worry about that. Uh, but if you do want to, um, if you do want to, rinse and repeat it all uh, by all means do so and you can just repeat that balloon game as many times as you want uh, there is another three games that will appear as well as we progress 
uh, so you can get your stars that way as well. Right, before we do any collectibles, let's go and grab the next set of achievements. So we've just finished achievements number four. Let's go and get number five. Uh, this is just to clear the area up. So head into the back garden. So take a right and head all the way through. Ignore everything for now. We're going to all the way to the very back. To the very end. As you can see, that fence is no longer there that was in episode one. So, And all you want to do here is go onto the uh, trampoline like so. And just hold A, which is your jump button. And as you can see, blue is getting higher and higher. And then when it gets so high, it'll pop an achievement for you. And that would be the bouncy house. Reach maximum height jumping on the trampoline. Nice and easy. Super duper easy. All right. Next one, now move back towards the house from the trampoline. And you'll see this uh, this watering can, just fill it up with the nearby tap. And then come closer here. This is actually going to get us our first sticker as well, but don't worry too much about that. And just pour the water on this plant, pour it for a second time, and bam, that will fully grow the plant. Hence why it's gave us a sticker. As you can see on the bottom left there, boom shanker. One of many stickers. Like I say, don't worry too much about the rest of them just yet. Uh, this is just part of an achievement. So that right there will give you another achievement called Pretty Cool Leaves. Grow a plant to its final stage. And obviously that was its final stage. Now this watering can can hold three lots of water. So you get three pours basically. Uh, we're gonna place it down for now. Now what we're going to do is continue moving left down the side of the house for the next achievement. So that was achievement number six. We are now going to move on to achievement number seven. And we're not doing too bad at all. We're flying through. So you'll see this football in the center. I'll go ahead and pick it up. And again, this one's going to be another sticker that we need to collect. So this is kind of a bonus anyway. And as you can see, that one's going to appear at the top. Part of what we need to collect now back out of that. So for this next achievement, what we need to do is go into the basket at the top here. Just click on X and then highlight the football that we've just chosen. Uh, press A again and it'll be in your hands and place the football in the goal. And it should reset into the center. Pick it up again. Place it in the goal. Let it reset. And then for a third time, place it in the goal. You can kick it in the goal if you wish. It's just easier to pick it up, super easy. And that right there will give you the hat trick achievement. And that's basically uh, to score three goals, super duper easy. All right, so now what we can do, uh, let's head back into the house. So it doesn't matter which way you go, left or right. I'm probably going the longest way, but we do have to go across the house anyway. We're gonna start from the dining room, pretty much the same room uh, the same room that we uh, began the game in, this one right here. And we're going to first um, collect all the collectibles. So we're going to go room by room, step by step. So take your time here. Uh, if you're not following along too carefully, do pause the game where you need to. And we'll go ahead and, uh, and do what we can. All right. So first we're going to get the hockey stick, which is right above. So go ahead and grab that. As you can see, on the, the main collectibles for the level, we need three hockey sticks in total. That's one of them. As you can see, we've got a star for that as well. And because we collected the, the other two collectibles, it gave us another hat. So you see what I mean? We accumulate the hats as we go along, or the costumes as they call it. So that's one collectible. Now in the far right corner, you can see something shining with all these pillars uh, hiding it. Just move those pillars out of the way, like so. Nice and easy. And behind it will be... Oh, I don't want that. I don't want that one. <laughs> this one will be a unicorn sticker. Nice and easy. That's another one to add to the list, another collectible. Now if we go to the opposite corner, diagonally, And then slightly to the left there, you'll see that cake in the top. 
Just uh, jump on the books here. Grab the cake like so. That'll be everything for this room. So now we can go into the right side room. So we're going to call this the dining room that we're in right now. And then we're going to move into... I guess you can call this a living room. It's got a sofa, so that's what we're going to call it. So in this room, if you go to the right side, where are we? There is a cloud collectible somewhere. Ah, uh, sorry, there it is. I must have knocked it off. It was on the floor for me before. But if you see right up above us, we have the dining cloud. Oh, that's a bit, that's a bit more awkward, isn't it? There we go. Let's climb up like so. Drop these books. Oh, so and bam. Wow. That'll give us the cloud That's sticker. That's awesome. So we're not going to go in the garden just yet. There is collectibles in the garden. We're going to leave that till last. Yay. So where we're going to go from here is upstairs. So let's head up the stairway. And you can see in the back there, in the first room that we're already in, uh, we have that teddy bear. Uh, I find it easier to go left. The right side seems to be a little bit awkward with those books. That's gonna get us a pink teddy bear sticker or whatever that's supposed to be. Super duper easy. Now let's drop down. And we're going to move left. We're going to go into the left room and into the first bedroom here. So on the bed, we have the uh, cream teddy bear just here. Oh, not the pillow. Oh, <laughs> I must have hit the book there. I didn't see that. So grab that cream teddy bear on the bed. That's another one for us. We get quite a few in this episode, actually. It fills the book up quite nicely, but we do need the remainder um, episodes. Right, now we can jump on the next bed, and if you just look at the back there, there's a pillow with a leaf hiding behind it. Sneaky. Very, very sneaky. All right, so from here, we're going to move into the second bedroom, which is more... Further to the left, basically. So drop down and move into the second bedroom. And inside here, as you can see, we have the newspaper. Oh, so Progress is pretty well. And then back out of that. And then we have the pink kitten that you can see on the other side there. So Should be able to just jump over that and grab that. Another one marked down. Excellent. Get back out of that. Now that is it for this room. We're now going to go out this lower side and continue left into this next and final bedroom. So as you can see at the back, we have the hockey stick. Oh, so pretty. And then we have the monkey at the very top there. You see that in the branch. So to get that one, we are going to bounce on the bed. Nice and easy. Just hold A on that one and you should get higher up, maybe. <laughs> maybe not. Okay, this one doesn't want to... I stood on the backboard, so stand on the backboard and jump across. Ugh. My God. I'm not very good at this, am I? So it's, it's further to the, like, further side. There you go. <laughs> a little bit awkward, that one. So it might take you a few attempts. But that will be the monkey sticker. Progress made. Right, that is it for this side of the house upstairs. Now we're going to head back to where the stairs was, and we're going to head to the right side of the house this time. 
go all the way through past them bedrooms and if you remember the stairways down here but we want to head to the right into this area and in the first room that you come to which will be uh, the bathroom there will be a duck on the back of the bath there just jump up and grab it as you jump press x should be able to grab that one Very good indeed. Again, we are gaining the stars as well as we collect these. Uh, in the into the next room, the toilet, we have the newspaper. Naturally. And back out of that one. So now in this living quarters, which will be in the right side, we can continue to the right. In here, we should have another newspaper. Oh, so wow, you got a for it. That's awesome. And that'll complete, as you can see now, we've just completed all the newspapers for this section. So we don't need to find any more. Hey. We've gained another hat. Like I said before, we are accumulating the hats as we go along. These are going to be part of the costumes collection, basically. And again, you'll get stars for each item you pick up. Now, to the right, just before the TV there, just lower down. Ignore the book that I've just picked up. <laughs> now, you want to pick up the purple dolphin? Wow, you've got a stickers for it. That's awesome. So far, so good. Now, back out of the book. Now we're going to continue to the right side into the next room, which will be the kitchen. So in here we have um, we have to go to the very top here. So in the bottom cupboard here, just open the door, and you'll find a cake. And in the top cupboard there that you can see, you will also find a teddy bear. Let's open that door if we can. There we go, and there's our teddy bear. Wow, you got a stickers for it. That's awesome. Excellent. So pretty good so far, I must I must admit. So back out of that. And we've gained another hat along the way. Excellent. Right, so now we want to head to the right side and outdoors, and you'll see the only thing that's out here, this does go all the way around the opposite side, but the only thing that's out here is this cake on the table. So go ahead, grab the cake. Wow, you got a stickers for it. That's awesome. Now what we can do is um is head downstairs to the front garden. Yay. We've done everything we need to in the house so far. Upstairs is clear, but let's head all the way back to where we came from and go down the stairway. Oop, next room. Go down the stairway and then head left when you hit the bottom of the stairway. Straight outside. Past the room where we began the episode. Right, so this is the We'll call this the front garden. I believe this is the front garden. Uh, what we've got here is the leaf, which you can see oh, so right on the railing there. That's the second leaf. Back out of that book. And then if we head down the steps here, you'll see we have Mr. Froggy in the fountain. Oh, so you shouldn't need to jump for that one, I don't believe. And that's another sticker. Like I said, we're gaining a lot of stickers already. This is the good thing about this first episode. It gets the majority out of the way. Yay. Another hat. Another costume. All right. So now we are done with this front garden. You can see there's a lot more stuff here. Ignore everything and head around the side of the house, pretty much where the football was. And what we're going to do here, um, we have a couple of things. So we have this cream hat teddy bear thing. 
Sorry, the, the cream teddy bear with a hat. Now, this is a little bit tricky to get up. I don't know why. You have to go right on the edge, I, I believe. <laughs> Sometimes it just goes straight up. Other times it uh, it just doesn't. So, there we go. See what I mean? It's a little bit finicky, but... That'll be another one. Wow, you got a stickers board. That's awesome. So that's the cream bear with a hat sticker. Top left corner there. And we've already gained the football sticker from this side, so which was what was in the middle. We've already gained that one, so we don't need to worry uh, any more of that one. That one's done. Now we can move further to the back. Basically where the trampoline was. Head to the trampoline. Doo doo doo. And you might may have noticed earlier, there's this yellow teddy bear. Oh, so Grab the yellow teddy bear. Wow, you got a stickers board. That's awesome. Back out of that one. I almost forget that that uh, doesn't automatically um, exit the book. I have to press B sometimes. Right, now head back towards the house. Go up the stairway and you'll find yourself a nice little hockey stick. See the bottom left corner, it usually shows a B. We have to wait. There we go. Another hat collected. Nice and easy. Super easy. So head further towards the house, and you'll see we have the purple hopper. So I believe you just need to jump on that one. You don't actually need to grab it or anything. But that will give you the purple hopper. And then B to back out once again. So from here, we can then get the last one, which is the leaf. I had to search around for this one because I forgot where it was. And it's right on top of these uh, things here. Just jump up and go ahead and grab it. It's a bit, a bit awkward compared to usual. Ah. Let's see if we can stand on that and get it. <laughs> it still didn't want to let us have it. It's not activating. No. There we go. A little bit awkward, that one. But we got there in the end. So that is everything for the um, top half. Now we can work on the plants. So let's just wait for B to appear. There we go. And now what we're going to do is head to the back garden, just down these steps, and then head south. And you remember the watering can? We're going to fill that right up just here. Top it up so it's got plenty of water in. And we're going to do the first one, which we've already done, which is the purple dazer. And then if we move along, we'll have a, a different one just here. <laughs> we'll water that once, oh, twice, and bam. That'll give us another wow, purple bush, cool. daisy bush, awesome. whatever you want to call it. They have no names as far as I'm aware. That's another sticker to add. Back out of that. Come on, another hat. Well, they're actually wings, so another costume. Uh, we need to go back and top the water up. And then we're gonna do this central one. <laughs> Two. Oh. That only requires two. Now some of these later on in the game will require us to like water it like six times or something like that. And I'm back out of that one. And then top the water up once more. So it's full. And then ignore that third one and instead go to the left here with the three green leaves. One, two, all this one requires. Ooh, it requires more than three. So go ahead, top your water up once again. Oh, so 
Bam, there we go. That's like a pink and purple rose bush, whatever you want to call that one. Nice and easy. Okay, so for the remaining plants on this one, let's just go back to the tap here and fill it up once again. I want to head upstairs this time, so back upstairs to that outdoor garden, basically where that cake was before. Use the nearest staircase. Head to the right. Past these two doors. And then we can go straight up outside. We don't need to go into the kitchen. Uh, so the first plant will be this pink one. So another one marked down. Lots of stickers done here, guys. Lots of stickers. Yay. Another costume piece. Another hat. Magician hat. All right. So we've got plenty of water in that one. So let's uh, water this green one. Can't quite see it very well. <laughs> but that is another one. It's basically just a, a, I don't know, we'll call it a green bush, I suppose. And that is all the plants for this level. But if it lets us move, I will show you, there you go. Uh, that is all the plants for this level. Uh, so you can just drop your watering can, and now we're going to head to the nearest book. And we're just going to click on this big, uh, on this big screen here. Go to the next episode, yes. Now we can continue on. No achievements for what we've just done yet, but again, this is progress for those final achievements at the end there. So we're not going to get an achievement for a while. It's going to work our way through here. Again, it's unfortunate we can't skip for all the cutscenes, but it is what it is, really. All right, so let's move this podium to where it wants us and jump onto it and just jump up. Let's go to the park, mate. So now we're going to head to the park, which is uh, pretty exciting. That sticky thing at the top there won't come off. This is where we're going to rescue Muffin, basically, on the next one. Our little friend Muffin. So what we're going to do again is just follow the store. Uh, when we unlock the mini game, we're going to do the mini game. Once we've done the mini game, we're then going to get the. Um, Achievements that are just sort of uh, random. Okay. We'll grab those and then it's on to the collectibles again. Same process as we did before. All right, so now we've just got to go up, follow it onto here, to the left. Again, don't worry too much about anything right now. We will have a free roam of this whole area, so it will all be covered. Canning. Now we can see another park. Nice. There's Muffin. You found them. And his dad. Wackadoo. Lead the way, girls. Now we're gonna head over to Muffin. So just head down and back over the bridge we came from into the next park. <laughs> nice hat, chap. The ground is lava. 
So now we're going to need to gain some uh, costumes. So the ground is lava is going to be our next mini game. Uh, we won't be able to get the achievement for that one just yet. We have to wait till we've actually unlocked it. I think you left them over at the playground with the flying fox. We'll go get them. So now we've got to head back basically uh, to the other playground to get our costumes. Let's run across like so. Oop, don't get trapped like me. Super easy. And now we get to play a little bit of uh, Ground is Lava on this bit. Good stuff. Let's grab and go. Stop. You're in lava. What? We're playing down <laughs> lava, remember? Oh, man, this lava is everywhere. Then how do we get to Muffin's dresses without touching the ground? We'll have to climb Doomed, I tell ye. Doomed. All right, so what we've got to do is just jump across without touching the floor, of course. Just use each of those platforms. Super easy. Same with this one, and again. And then the final one. I believe if you just stand there and don't do anything, these guys actually go and collect it for you. So you don't actually have to do this yourself. All right, next one. So let's jump across. Jobs are good in. Now we can head back to uh, Muffin, I believe. We've got our little costumes. And this is pretty much where our next achievement is going to come in. This will be number eight. There we go. We got them. Thanks, Louie and Big Guy. All right, you legends have fun. Dad's going to put his feet up. No, you have to play too in the dresser. Yeah, Dad, you've got to play as well. <laughs> uh, okay, one game. So for this next achievement, we've basically just got to rescue Muffin, who's going to be at the top of all this. There he is. Is everyone happy with their dress ups? Yes. No. And we've literally got to go from left to right. But there's more in the dress all the platforms. Super easy. I don't think you can fail this. So if you head to the left side, just climb up. Oh no, sorry, my bad. Almost uh, skipped a bit, so just click on the costumes if you're happy with what you got. Just click A. Done. Okay, now we can rescue Muffin. And yeah, pretty much where I've just mentioned, it should start as that direction. There you go. That's more like it. Come on in. Let us through. Let us do it. All right, so from here, just jump across onto the green platform, onto the yellow uh, yellow thing. Whoa, a bit too far there. And then up like so. And then this one, just move slightly down because it will push you off. And there you go. And that should give you the Flamingo Queen Rescued Muffin. That's achievement number eight, I believe. Another easy one. You can't miss it anyway. It's part of the... Um, Part of the whole thing. And now we pretty much just continue until the episode is finished, I think. We gotta get back for lunch. Okay, Dad. Oh, girls. Was there anything you wanted to ask Uncle Stripe before we go? Oh, yeah. Uncle Stripe, do you remember making a treasure map when you were a kid? Do you make a treasure map? How could I forget? I still keep it with me in my wallet. Have a look. There we go, another piece to the treasure map. Nice. Well, when we were kids, we had the greatest toy in the world. It was Dad, I'm busted. Let's go. Uh, in a minute, Very demanding little child. Well, that's two pieces of the puzzle we've got. This should pretty much conclude the episode. There we go. Yeah. And that will give you the ninth achievement, which is finished episode two. Classic Stripe, the achievement should be called. Nice. We are, we are doing pretty well. You found 
So now, like we did before, we have um, the next achievement. So just Let's press A on that. Map piece in your sticker book for safekeeping. Right. So we don't need to do anything right now. So if you just press Y and you look in the bottom left corner there, you see we now have the Floor is Lava minigame. So for this one, this is going to be the temp achievement. And what you need to do is win five games of the Ground is Lava. Super easy. Let's go ahead and do one of those. I'll just show you how it's done. Just play it five times. Super easy. Jump on the table, jump on the box, and then on the trampoline. Just hold A. And then jump across, grab the first star. Uh, jump across like so, grab the second star, and then come back down the other side. And you'll see the trampoline. Just hold, hold A for the high jump, and then just jump towards the camera. It's that easy. Super simple. That'll also get you three stars, as you can see. Again, that's another one you can repeat if you do want to click the hats in the top left. But again, naturally, you will just get that one anyway. So that one will give you the only way to travel on lava, and that's win five games of Ground is Lava. So that first one we did with um, uh, with the little man, what's his name, uh, with Muffin, that won't count, but you'll have to do... Uh, this one five times. You'll have to do that one five times. Okay, I believe that is it. Um, so if we head over to the book, as you can see, we've got two pieces of the uh, thing now. And it's unlocks the playground area for us. Uh, once, once again, we've got the three newspapers, three cakes, three leaves, and hockey sticks. So what we're going to do now is head over to the park. So if you click on the park one, and travel to the playground. Now what we're going to do is clean up on a couple of achievements. Uh, and then we're also going to start all the collectibles in this area. So first things first, head to the park just north of us. And all you want to do for this one is jump on this uh, seesaw. Just hold the A button and it will jump you, get you higher. And that straight away pretty much should get you the Toast is Ready achievement. That's catapulted someone off the seesaw. Super easy. I think you just climb on the seesaw for that and it will give you off. So that will be the 11th achievement. Nice and easy. Right, now I'm going to head to the right side. I'm going to skip this park area for now. Uh, cross over the bridge. And now this next one's a little bit more tricker. Uh, you want to head through this little nook. And you want to head all the way to the top. In fact, before we go to the top, I'm going to explain what we have to do here. So once we're at the top, you have to slide down this slide here, onto this one, and then onto this one, basically without touching the floor. So the way to do it is we go to the top like so. And then when you get near the slide, you'll see it says press X. As soon as we press X, we will slide down it. Now, once you do that, just spam the X button. Do not, do not press your movement buttons. Do not change your view or anything. Just do not press any other button, otherwise this won't work. And just spam the X button. So let me show you. So I'm going to spam it. Spam, spam, spam. There you go. Boom. That should give you the slide, slide, slide achievement. Chain three slides in a row. Now again, if you move your um, directional buttons, uh, it will stop you from doing that. So just spam X and nothing more. Just put your controller on the side, press the X button and spam it, and it should work. No problem, us. And that'll be your 12th achievement. So what we can do now, let's head back to where we originally started. And we're going to work on all the collectibles now for this area. So right back where we started, you can see the main park in the background. Let's just start here uh, just to get the ball rolling. So in this first area, we should have uh, a newspaper. Where is it hiding? There it is. So on just on top of the hill here, we have the newspaper. That's one of three. And that's it for this lower section. So if we go towards the main park, which we'll call this the main park, 
I'm going to head to the left side of it and we'll find uh, Mr. Leaf over here. Just sitting on the wooden post. And back out of that. Again, another hat. This time a police hat. Super duper easy. And then we're going to head to the top half. And in this top half, we should have the volleyball that you can see right on the uh, oh, so volleyball court. Wow, That's another sticker out That's the way. Awesome. We're doing well on the sticker book anyway. Uh, beats are back out of that one. And then as you can see in the distance there, right at the top, we have the hockey stick. Oh, so He's uh, back out of that one once again. And then we're going to head into the main park area. Whichever direction we actually get in this way. Just head into the main park area. And if you look to the right side, just tucked away here, we have hockey stick. Sneaky that one. That's quite hidden. That's inside the main park. And another hat as well. Done. Now if I head to the right, so let's exit out the park. And if you just go north, as soon as you head to that right side, you'll see another leaf tucked away in the back there. Now we can... Now we can move into the other park where the floor is lava, where we've just done the slide. So let's head back to the right over the bridge and into this next park area. So we're going to start. So this is the floor is lava park. And we're going to just start with the south side here. And we should have a newspaper. Oh, so pretty. Back out of that one. And then as we go to the left side here, we'll have the basketball. And then, of course, right underneath the basketball net will be our cake. So that sticker book is not far from complete, really. For the top and bottom stuff, anyway. But sadly, it doesn't fill up as quick anymore. Now, we will be getting the plants as well. That will do that last so grab the cake. Now this time we're going to head back up to the slides. Now you may have grabbed these already on the way. It's totally up to you, but just for the sake of this video to keep it on track, go to the very, very top and you'll find yourself a newspaper. That completes all the newspapers for us for this level, for this episode. Just wait for the bottom left to appear. There we go. And we have the hockey stick in the back there. Oh, it's so pretty. Wow, you got a stickers board. That's awesome. That completes the hockey sticks. Superb. Wait for the B in the bottom left. There we go. Another hat as well on the way. So, we can slide down there. All right, so now if we just keep going south and you'll see the cake on the right side, so just use these logs here to climb across and grab that cake. That leaves us just a couple more in this area, so B to back out once again. Right now, drop down and head to the top half where you can see that pink, um, Seesaw. And what we're going to need to do here is use the seesaw oh, without falling off uh, to send us up. So just hold A just to get that jump going, as you can see. There you go, much better. And then as soon as it launches you up, grab the cake, spam X on your way down and move it to the left there. That completes all the cakes for this area. So more complete. 
And then when the book allows us to, we will back out. There we go. And as you can see already in the back there, on the left side, we have Mr. Leaf sitting there, and that completes all the leaves. Alright, so before we do leave this area, we're going to finish up with the plants, which is the bottom half of the stickers there. We're going to gain some more. Another hat gained, that's a skating hat. That's to protect our head. Alright, so let's head to the bottom here. Uh, I've got to remember where the watering can is on this one. So just head to the south side of the lava thing. There we go, watering cans dead center. And to top it up with water, we have these weird looking things. We go ahead, fill the watering can up uh, from the water thing. And we just have the, I would call it a white bush, this one. One, two, there you go. There's your first plant. That's another sticker added to this. And back out. Now we're going to have to fill this up a few times for this next one because it takes quite a lot. So just top that up anyway. And then head to the left side of this lava field. And you'll see this one with the three purple balls. One, two, three. Not quite there yet. We've got to top it up again. Let's fill it up with water. There may be a nearer water, but I'm not too sure on that one. Go back across. Fill it up once more. One. So that's the fifth one. And the sixth one. One's a bit glitchy then, but... Another sticker, the purple tree. And back out of that one. So now what we need to do is go back to the water thing and top up. Should be one last time, I believe. There you go. And then this time we're going to head to the north side, back to uh, where the seesaw is. And on the left side here, you'll see we have... Um, leave some different plants now it must be these ones these should turn white and pink so any one of these that are already grown and bam there you go should turn white and pink that is it for the plants for this area we no need to go to any other part of these parks or this playground should i say we don't need to go back to the previous area all the plants are the same so All right, now we can just continue on with the story. So again, this will not give us an achievement, but uh, it does it does progress with all the collectibles. So we are not far ahead. So now we can uh, just click the big square. Make sure you have got everything. If you want to pause it and just match your book up with my book, go ahead and do that right now. Uh, but otherwise, you should be good to go if you've been following carefully. So go to the next episode, yes please. Oh, this one's <sighs> I'm not a little annoying, I guess, but you can't come through. Why? Why not? Gecky is still up there. Well, I'm gonna answer the door, and you need to ask Uncle Rad about the treasure. He's still stuck up there. That's some pretty good stuff Hello? he's stuck Anyone with. There? Can you meet us round the back? Uh sure. No worries. All right, come on. All right, so just follow him to the back there. Like so. Doopy doopy doo. I need a sprint button on this. I mean, I know we're kind of running anyway, but. Wait, where's Uncle Rad? Hello? This one's uh. He's a little bit of an assault course to go through. Oh no, mate. Not the sprinklers. Don't want to get wet. So <laughs> I just got a blowout. Oh dear. Wouldn't want to ruin your perfect do. 
Alright, we'll come save you. All we need to do on this is just dodge the water. I don't know what happens if you hit the water, to be honest, but... It's going to run straight through it, like so. Do, 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 do. Turn the sprinkler off. And then I believe we have to do that one again. Not that same course, but continue on, should I say. One sprinkler left, let's go. Tally ho. Alright, so now we're going to move the table. So just grab the table, if I can. I actually can't place it from this side, but to go there. And just use it to climb across the bush, like so. And turn it off. There we go. Did you bring the treasure map? I did. Whee! I also brought you your Christmas present. But it's April. <laughs> <laughs> Better late than never. This is a strange one, that chat max thing. I'm it's a, yeah, it's a bit strange. This episode of Bluey is called Chattermax. Chattermax. What have you done? Chattermax. We'll have to hide this one too. Wait, you hide their toys? Not all their toys, just that one. Brutal. Mom, Dad, look what Chattermax can do. Eat me, eat me. <laughs> oh, that this is what I mean about it being annoying. It's quite funny. What should we feed? What healthy thing? Let's look in the kitchen. Right, so on this one, we've basically got to grab the fruit. So let's head upstairs and grab the fruit for Chattermax. Chattermax. Stuff like fruit, carrots, asparagus, edamame. So just follow the arrows and it will lead you all the way to the upstairs kitchen, basically. All right, so we just need to jump onto the side, grab the strawberries and like so. Let's feed them to Chattermax. Let's feed them to Chattermax. Now we've got to go downstairs again, all the way back. Feed them to Chattermax. So this next achievement is coming up. Here we are. Let's feed our feathered friend. So go ahead and just feed him. It's not over. Greedy bird. I don't know if it's a real bird or what it's supposed to be. But... So for this next achievement, we are going to have to go find the rubber duck for Chattermax. So now we're going to head back upstairs. And to the right again, and we're going to head into the bathroom this time. So, just here. Basically, once we bring that back to Chattermax, that's going to give us the next achievement. So, so let's move the stool. You honestly don't need the stool, but the game tells you to do it anyway. So first we need to jump on and turn on the tap like so. And then we can just grab the duck. Alright, it doesn't let us grab it from, from that low down, that's fair enough. So now that we've got the duck we can take it back to Chatmax. Take it down the stairway here. Where's the hiding? There he is. And at this point, it should give you the... Oh, there we go. Let's give it to Chattermax first. Now it should give you the Give Me Squeaky achievement. That's basically fed Chattermax. Again, it doesn't count until you've given the rubber duck, so... That'll be your 13th achievement out of the way. <laughs> this is so annoying. And now it's just a case of finishing this episode. So let's go ahead and just finish up this episode. 
Uh, it's quite long-winded, this bit, but, you know, we'll get it done. Don't worry about any collectibles or anything like that. Again, we're going to do the same process as we did before. So now we're going to water the flower. That's what we've been doing all, all story, right? Go over to this tap. Hooray! All right, let's uh, fill up this plant. Two. There we go. See, that doesn't count in the sticker book either, so it's a bit unfortunate, but it is what it is. Okay, now we need to go back to Chatmax once again. Back and forth. Down the stairway. There he is. So now this bit is going to get um, a little bit long-winded because we've basically got to chase Chatmax around the house. <laughs> Pretty much like the kids are doing. <laughs> We're all looking at the uncle like, um... Oh no! He gone crazy! Alright, so we've got to... We've got to catch Chat Max, basically, man. We've got to do this like several times, so. Well, we're, not, we're not doing a very good job of keeping hold of him, but. <laughs> Please, Chat Max! Uh, this is where things go wrong. Sure it gets from bad to worse, really, doesn't it? He's got the third piece of the the treasure map that's in our book, basically. Well, unfortunately, let's chat Max have it. So now this is where we <laughs> where we have to do some chasing. So go ahead and chase Chat Max. Just follow the arrows on the screen there. It's a bird, it can fly upstairs, surely. To the lounge! To the lounge, comrades! Uh-oh. That's not a good sound. Now we're in the kitchen. We're just in the back here, you can see where the arrow is. Just open the cupboard up. And there, uh, the imposter chatter max, it looks like. <laughs> yes. Again, I would. I would like to be able to uh, skip the cutscenes on this. I mean, obviously, if you're one of those who actually want to listen in and all that stuff, then that's fair enough. But uh, for me, I've already done it. I've already played it and stuff. So it would be a nice option, at least after completing the game, right? So again, follow the arrows all the way downstairs, all the way to the left side. And there's Chatamax. So now we've got to catch him. There you go. This is where we actually play a game of Chattermax. It's a bit weird. Oh. <laughs> I thought we put a banister rail up or whatever you want to call it. A railing. All the way into the back garden. He's crazy. 
All right, so go ahead and grab him. Right now we've got him caged. He ain't moving anywhere. One mat piece, as promised. There we go. There is our third piece of the treasure map. That'll go in our book nicely. I believe this should also finish our episode. So this should complete episode three, as far as I'm aware. Got it. It's the creek. You hit the treasure at the creek for real life. For real life. Yeah. For real life, mate. There you go. That'll get you your 14th achievement. Finished episode number three. That leaves us with one more episode, basically. So we're just going to pop that. And there we go. We've now got uh, a full map there, which we will be following later. So now let's move on to the 15th achievement. So with this one, uh, it's basically winning th uh, five games of Chattermax Chase. So the way you do it, if we press Y, which is what you can see on the bottom left corner there, you can see we now have the Chattermax mini game. So go ahead and click that, and what you need to do on that one is basically chase Chattermax, pick him up, and then on the top right corner you'll see like a little bar go up. And the longer you hold him, um, the bar once the bar's filled, you'll get a star, and then it will let the Chattermax go. You do it three times, you'll get yourself three stars. I think the aim of the game to win, you have to get more stars than all the other characters. Uh, I'll show you exactly what I mean. You want to win this five times, so do this same one five times. I'll show you exactly what I mean. So grab Chattermax. There we go, we've got him. Every time you pick him up, it will freeze people. Ooh. There we go, we've got one star. Now it, it goes free again. So... You can tackle people. Oh, they tackled me. Resets, I believe, if you get tackled. I usually just hide behind these tables until someone sort of comes near. There's our second star. Again, nobody else has got stars, so I'm going to head behind these tables again. Whoa, he snatched it off us. And again, it freezes you. Oh. When it changes hands so often, it can be a little awkward. You see on the top right how the bar's filling up once that's full. Oh, that was a good interception there. So you can get uh, stuck quite often. 30 seconds left. Come on, we can do this. There we go. This should be enough now. Should. There we go. Once you hit three stars, you automatically win the game. And that is pretty much it. So win that five times, and that will give you the 15th achievement, which is called Don't Let Go. And as you can see, we've got some more hats, more costumes. So right, now that one's done, we can now move on to the book. And yes, once again, we are going for the collectibles. You can now go and find these collectibles in the backyard. Where do you want to go? So we've now unlocked the backyard. Travel, travel to the backyard. We we'll move over to this third one. Go ahead and click on that, and we're going to travel to the backyard. And again, we're going to collect what we need to. There's not too much to collect here. So from the back garden, as you can see straight away, we have the cake. Oh, so go ahead and grab the cake. There's actually two cakes in this back garden. And what else do we have? If we follow along the back here, tucked at the back there, we have Mr. Leaf. Nice. Just press B to get out of that one. And then what else do we have? Follow it to the right side. We don't need to do anything there. We have the hockey stick. Oh, so Super easy. Let's back out of that one. So 
So that should leave us with a couple more things to collect. So we have another cake here. And then for this section, for this this little zone, should be somewhere, possibly further back, will be a newspaper. There we go, right on the table there. You might have to jump for this one. Just jump over and grab that newspaper. So that's the back garden done with all collectibles. Now back out of that one. I'm going to head once again down this sideway, this side path, whatever you want to call it, side garden. And you can already see there we have the leaf up top. You can just jump and grab that one, no problem. Super easy. Back out of that one and move further along. Another hat collected. We're doing well with these hats, with these costumes. And then further along, you see we have the hockey stick. Just tucked away at the side there. And then again, keep going further along. We don't need to grab the teddy because we've already grabbed that one before. Another leaf on the other bush. Again, do the same. You don't even need to jump up for that one. It's it's already available. Wait for the bee to appear, bottom left. Come on, let us out. There we go. And now, just a, a little pre-warning here. Um, let me just check my uh, notes here. So, uh, where are we? So somewhere around here, we should have another achievement uh, pop. Possibly Fancy Lady. So if you look in the top left corner, you'll see that we've got the crown. I believe that is the last of the costumes. So at some point, when you collect your next collectible, you may get the achievement for Fancy Ladies. So just bear that one in mind. It might be at this point. It's hard to say because I've already got the achievement and I also achieved it a different way. So now we need to grab the newspaper. Oh, not the book. And that'll be it for the side garden. Again, that should give us the crown. Royal crown unlocked. Now, if that doesn't give you the achievement, um, fancy ladies, unlock all costumes, uh, we will get it later on. So that's totally fine. I'm just unsure of that one. So I just want to put that one in there. Anyway, that is the side of the house done. We can now progress to the front. And all we have here is uh, nothing over this side. So we have the hockey stick. That completes all the hockey sticks. As you can see, we've done the leaves as well. Let us back out. There we go. And we have another newspaper at the back there. That completes that. And then finally, when it lets us out, we can get the last piece of the cake. So let's back out. And at the top there. We have the cake. Nice. And that is all collectibles for this episode. We can then move on to the next one when it allows us to. So let's just back out of that one. As you can see now, we're just getting the ribbons. So that's all you collect is ribbons, 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 plus one, plus two, plus three, and so on and so forth. So yes, you should have the Fancy Ladies achievement at this point. If not, it will pop probably at the beach. I'm not too sure, but yeah, just be wary of that one. You will get it nonetheless. You will not miss it. All right, now we can head to the nearest book. We don't need to get any plants on this level. Uh, we've got pretty much every plant type that's in this area. So don't worry about the plants for this one. Let's move on. So again, go to the next episode. Right, so for this next achievement, 
It's going to happen naturally anyway as the story story goes on. Oh, and I will point out. Oh, why don't I come and play with you so Mum can finish your story? Okay. Louie, how about we play? Oh, okay. Oh, wait, hang on. Ah, magic xylophone. So this is a new mini game that we're going to unlock as well. Ding. This episode of Bluey is called Treasure. Treasure. We get stuck like that. So what we're going to basically do for this next achievement, we have to freeze more two times. But it's part of the story anyway. We basically have to just test it out. <laughs> this, this silly game they're playing. It's quite funny though. So they're basically going to tell us to try it out. There you go. Now we've got to try on more. So just stand there and ting it. Press X to ting. He's frozen. Now we've got to unfreeze him. So we froze him once. And now on this second time, this should give us the next achievement called freeze. So again, ting him. And then press his tail. And now at any point, the achievement should pop for freeze. Froze more two times, basically. So now we've just got to freeze him. There's one. And then get the last one. <laughs> da -da -da -da. Now there is another achievement for this mini game, but that doesn't count, so. So we will have to do the mini game later on. So now we're just gonna have to continue and follow the episode here. So this is gonna be long-winded again. We're not gonna get any achievements until this episode is now done, so. Gonna have to follow the story quite a bit here. We're basically going to follow the treasure trail. Let's go to the kitchen and get the garbage bags first. Okay, so we're going to head up to the kitchen. Come on, run, Bluey, run! Head straight across into the back there, onto that little, Wait, where little spot. All right, so we need to move the stool to the left. Uh, just jump up, open the cupboard. There we go. We found them. What's next? Da -da -da -da. Be in the Let's head outside. So now we've got to go downstairs, all the way down and grab the shovel. So again, just follow the arrows, follow the marker. So, all the way down the stairs to the back garden. Quite far away, actually. And there we go. We've now got to climb the mountain. Here's the shovel. Jeez, why is it all the way up there? We were making a mountain for Rug Island. Okay, then. We'll have to jump on the sides of the mountain to reach the shovel. Right, so just climb up any part of it. As long as you can grab that shovel, nice and easy. Okay, bags and a shovel. We're ready to rock. Wait, what is it, Bingo? You forgot the bug spray. Oh, yeah. Where did we have it last? I think we have it up Now we've got to grab the bug spray. What is it doing in... Oh, never mind. Let's go up and take a look. <laughs> I swear this game does it on purpose. <laughs> up and down and up and down. But it is what it is. Again, just follow the arrows back into the house. I believe we have to go upstairs. Yep. Yeah. 
and then head to the left side this time into that first bedroom we we got into before for this one we just need to use the bed to actually climb on to the shelving just be careful okay so go ahead use your bouncing skills there you go this makes us jump a bit higher and then just onto the shelving like so All right, so now we're going to head to the creek, I believe. Going to all team up together. There is two staircases, by the way, that leads down here. Let's go over to Granddad. On this side. Oh, I've gone the wrong way. He's outside in the garden, of course. There we go. So now we're going to head to the creek. Great. Let's go find the treasure. So we're not too far from the finish now. It does. Do you know Once we've got past goes? this episode, it's pretty much uh, at our own pace then. Again, I do wish we could skip through these cutscenes. There's quite a lot at the minute, but... The gazontopedes? I don't know what that is. He's just going anywhere. So just following Grandad. So with this one, we're not going to get any collectibles in this area uh, when we're done. We're going to come back to this area later on and get what we need. So again, just follow the arrows. arrows and follow the story all the way through. We've pretty much got to go to the end of the creek and stuff, so... We've got to play a, a bit of the, the floor is lava. So again, move that rock as they state. Your little friend will move it as well, and we can step across into the next area. So go ahead, just use the rocks. You, won't, you will reset, so you can see... You know, we reset just there. Nice and easy. We've got a bit of a journey to go still, so... Not over just yet. Like so. Easy. Alright, so up the slope here. It's a bit deceiving when you come back to this section. It's easier to sort of get lost in a sense. Well, there you are. You must have gone the long way round. Slow and steady, boy. Come on, let's keep going. We need we're just going to make our way to the very top of the creek. How does he know where we're going? We've got a few hurdles along the way. You see what I mean about cutscenes, though. It seems to uh, it seems to stop quite a bit on this part. But again, this is the final section, so. Luckily, the story isn't too long, so just go up to Grandad and press X, or you might not even need to press X. Spray him down, get rid of those bugs. All right, so this is the top half of the creek. We have got to do a bit of cleaning up when we get there as well. What happened? I don't think anyone's cared for this area in a while. It's so sad. The creek used to be a beautiful place. Well, there's only one thing to do. Used to be Come a beautiful on. place. Wait a few moments. What do we do? How about we start at that dry section? Looks like the water is all blocked up. So now let's move the rock so it lets all the water through. And then we've got to do a, a touch of spring cleaning just to make the area a bit more presentable. This is probably the longest point in the game, to be fair. Once it's done, it's done. So right, all we need to do here is grab the rubbish, place it in the bag. Another piece, place it in the bag, and then a third piece, whatever it may be, place it in the bag, and then the final fourth piece. 
And I'm gonna have to do the same with the right hand side. Yeah. Hey, you wait there, let us do all the work. All right, so same again. Get the four pieces, throw them in the bag if these let us buy. Why, why are they hanging around as this close? What's going on? A bit freaky. There we go. I should finish this part off nicely. We're nearly there. Hey! Two days later. Place is a little bit up ahead. Come on, this way. Up there. Dad, it's too high. There are some rocks here. You can move them to make steps. Good idea, Dad. Come on, kids. Let's go do it. All right, so grab this rock and then just pull it down and wait for your friend to come as well. Just keep holding the down button. And then uh, this one too. Unfortunately, you can't just stand on it and climb up, but we it. Now? now we got up. This way. Come on. So follow dad. Like so. There's a rock in the river. We can jump over it. Yes. Let's hope it's not a wobbly one. So every tiny little section, it's... Uh, it seems to have a little cutscene, you see what I mean? It's huge! This is where we all team together and move the rock. Alright, let's go up to the rock and push up. And it should shift it upwards. We did it! We're almost there now. Just come into the... I mean, you can just walk across. You don't even need to use the stepping stones on this part. I was going to dig the hole to find the buried treasure. You wait till you see all the money that we get. All that money and gold that we get. It's crazy. <laughs> oh. It's a dirty old doll, mate. It's Power Blue. Who's our favourite toy ever? If he was your favourite toy, then why did you bury him? It has sentimental value, that's what it has. Power Blue was the greatest action figure around, but we had to share him between the three. And he was younger, that's quite funny. Did you? Not well. We used to fight over who got to play with him. A lot. It was usually me or Rad who won. We were the biggest. That's not fair. That's brothers, kid. One day, we had a big fight. So big that our dad told us he was going to take Power Bloke away. Oh no, he was going to take the doll off him, so they decided to hide it and bury it. Fair play. So we should now be coming up to the end of the episode. This will be the 18th achievement, I believe, because the 16th, uh, sorry, the 17th one was the fancy ladies for the costumes. Again, don't worry too much if you didn't get that one yet. Uh, we will get that one anyway at the beach, at least. Uh, but it should be the 18th one, this one coming up. Basically, to finish episode four. And again, that'll be, once we've finished episode four, that's pretty much it for us. That is, uh, the rest is up to us speed-wise, which is where we'll be getting the remainder of the achievements. So, fear not, we will be getting all 22 achievements. Come on then, game, speed it up a bit. Come on.
Chatter Max. Reminiscent, eh? This last page doesn't have any pictures on it. Yep, we're saving it for today. What do you reckon? Ready for one last day of holidays? Yeah. Now. Gecky, you finally made it. <laughs> the little Yay! gecko fell off the uh, ceiling Hi, after all this time. Yeah. Now we can head to the Blue, beach. This is the best holidays ever. So again, we are going to come back to the creek uh, to get all the collectibles and stuff there. It will be the final area that we do. That's where we're going to end the game as well. Great job. You finished the and that is it. Again, this should be Achievement 18, finished Episode 4. You found nice and treasure. easier. All right, like we have been doing throughout the game. Press A, let's get rid of that book. Now we have complete free room, and what we can do is get the remainder of the achievements. So, again, we've just finished episode four. That is done and dusted. So what we're going to do, book, if you just head onto the beach until the bottom left, you can see in the bottom left we have the, um, the mini games. Obviously, depending on what area you're in, you can see we, we only have access to the bloom one here. So if you just move out or further to the beach, you'll have access to at least three of them. We just need the bottom one. So for this one, we need to freeze everyone in less than 30 seconds. So let's go ahead. All you basically got to do is run up to them, press X and freeze them. Let's but play. Freeze all three of the opponents. You'll see what I mean. So 30 seconds. Oh, one, two, no time at all do that within 30 seconds and you'll get yourself another achievement which should be the 19th achievement I believe <laughs> Island Rhythms alright so now it is on with all the collectibles let's finish this game once and for all let's get this all done and dusted so we're just going to start from the beach uh, we are going to go back to the creek, like I say, that's going to be the final area we finish it up. But we may as well start with the beach as we're already here. So from where we're at, we want to head to the left. And you'll see we have this little trampoline. Let's jump on top of it. Bam, that's another collectible added to our book. Like so. And if we head to the right side, we will have a newspaper. Oh, so, so that's a trampoline and newspaper, done and dusted. Now we want to head back into the beach, and this time we're going to head to the left side of the beach. Let's keep going to the left, 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 and we'll come across I another newspaper. So Super easy. It's back out of that. And for this next one, we are going to need to get on our parent's shoulders. So just press X near them. This gets a bit awkward. And you'll see on the left side, the cake's on the rocks at the top. So just go near the rocks like that. Press your jump button and X when you get to the top and it should allow you to climb up and grab the cake. No problem. That's it for this left side. Now we can head back to the center of the beach here. To this central area. So basically where, where this um, umbrella is. Uh, first, we're going to jump into the bouncy castle and grab... Uh, bouncy castle? <laughs> Sand castle. Uh, and grab the cake in the center there. And back out of that. In the far, far distance there at the back, we have the beach ball. And then once again, we will need to climb on the parent's shoulders. So that completes the top half of the stickers. We do still have the plants left to do. 
Uh, we do have some plants in this section, so that's fine. Okay. So now we need to get on top of here. So just go near Dad, get him to put him on his shoulders. And we want to jump up if we can. This is a bit awkward. Depends which side you go from. I do this side, but... Oops. I could never get this one right. It might be easier to go from the left, so... Let's try this one. <laughs> I can't do it. I don't know why. There's no, like, jump button. But it just it just seems to uh, come off. Oh, come on. Come on. Almost. It isn't usually this difficult, but... It just doesn't want to work for me today. It knows I'm doing a video. <laughs> it knows I'm doing a video, you see. Wow. Come on, Dad. Hey, kids. We're going to do it, folks. We're going to do it. Ta-da! <laughs> right, so grab the leaf. It shouldn't take you that long, but uh, yeah, it likes to be awkward for me. It knew I was doing a video, so it's like, you know what? We're going to delay Carl as much as we can. All right, so that's the leaf. That's the central section done. And now if you want to make your way to the right side of the beach... And as you can see, we have the Look hockey the stick. Oh, so we are still missing quite a few pieces, which we will get them all here. Yay. And then we can move uh, more to the right. So you can see we've got a cake up there. All we need to do is go around the side here for that. But first we're going to grab oh, another okay. hockey stick. So that's two hockey sticks. Back out. You can already see a newspaper. So for this one, uh, which way do we go? Can Up on the rocks here, I believe. No. Oh, there we go. So just climb on the rocks here to get the newspaper, and it will allow you to go all the way through, so like so. That completes the newspapers for this area. All right, when the book allows us to leave. There we go. And then go straight and slightly left behind these trees here, and that's where you can access the cake. Wow, you got a stickers board. That's awesome. That finishes the cakes. That leaves us with two more leaves to get and another hockey stick. So we're going to go much further to the right side again and it allows us to move go past all this another hockey stick amongst the sand there wow you got a stickers board that finishes all the hockey sticks another ribbon gained you can see we've already gained plus five on that. In the far distance, you'll see the leaf. Oh, so and there should be another leaf in this area as well. So I did also miss one of the leaves back here. So we're going to go back. We have to go back this way anyway. This is going to be the, uh, the last part of it. Just jump straight off here. Just on this mound, so just an idea of where it's at. If you see where the umbrella the there, the leaf is just sitting oh, right next to it. So slightly to the right of the umbrella. Wow, got a board. That's awesome. That completes everything for this section, apart from the plants, of course. So now we're going to work on the plants. Let's go back to the starting area just to give us a better navigation. Where are we? This way. Where did you put your so now I want to get the uh, watering can and we can use the shower here to top up what we need. We've got two plants in this area. Or three, sorry. Uh, you want to head to the left side. 
and you'll see we have this orange thing here. Wear the rest of that. <laughs> Go ahead, water that. Two. And then three. We need to fill it up again. I don't believe we can fill it up in the water, no. Oh, a bit too far there. Back to the shower. There may be somewhere else you can fill that up. It's a little bit nearer, but otherwise that's totally fine. And again, let's finish that bush. Bam. There's the orange bush that we can add to our sticker book. Right, now let's back out of this one. Now we need to top our water up once more. So let's head back to the shower, and this time we're going to head to the right side as well. Hey kids, let's check out the sticker book. God, my navigation's terrible. Top it up. We can go this way as well, you can just jump over here like so. And all we need to do on this one, I believe, keep going to the right side. And you'll see we have these purple flowers. Just go ahead. <laughs> grow that one like so. Oh, so and boom. Wow, you got a stickers board. That's awesome. It's another purple golden bell flower thing. That leaves us with one more plant to finish the sticker book on that section. Uh, and of course, we have the... Uh, the creek area to get the newspapers, cakes, leaves, and hockey sticks as well. Yay. All right. So now we are done with the beach. And again, by this point, you should have uh, the fancy ladies achievement as well. Uh, so do bear that one in mind. Uh, so Where go ahead and just drop the is? watering can. Now we're going to head to the nearest book. Actually, don't remember where the books are. There we go. There's one. So open your book like so. Wow. Look at these memories. And the narrator's gonna do a bit of Select talking. To that adventure. Uh, but Give we wanna try. we don't wanna do any of those. Now this basically at the creek. It basically allows us to um replay beach. any episode, so where do you wanna go? So Rescue this section the allows us to replay Rescue any of the episodes. So the first episode, Rescue. second, so on and so forth. Rescue. This allows us to go to those specific areas. As you can see, we're not finished at the creek, so let's head over to the creek. And let's get this game done and dusted. Okay, so now that we're at the creek, uh, let's just take one look at our book real quick. Uh, all we have is um, the leaves, the hockey sticks, the cakes, the newspapers, and then the one plant at the very bottom there. So, grab the uh, watering can and go ahead and fill that up. And we're going to take that with us now. So we're going to follow it through, and first we have the leaf. Oh, we don't want to do that. Leave the watering can there that for now. We'll come back to that. So grab the leaf. Like so. And around this lower section, just keep following it along. And you'll see the hockey stick in the distance there. Oh, so pretty. Nice and easy. Another ribbon gained. And then keep going to the right and we will find a cake. Oh. Just in the little tent there, or teepee, or whatever it's supposed to be. Now if you go slightly to the right, you'll see we have a newspaper up the top there. Just use these rocks to climb on top of that one. One of each there, nice. So now, let me just double check around this area. Now what we need to do is head south, so when you're in this like circled area, you'll see we have these plants here, but there's a little, little section we can jump across here like so. And on the middle rock, or towards the end should I say, we can actually jump on this, on this log, grab ourselves another hockey stick.
So that's the two hockey sticks. Then we can jump straight down. Uh, let me remember where everything is. There we go. So if we go back onto the wood and then onto these little platforms, we'll find another leaf. So that's two leaves, two hockey sticks in this lower section, a cake, a newspaper. And then if we continue on, on these platforms, I believe that will lead us all the way to another newspaper. That will be it for this lower section. That's all the collectibles for the lower section. No more to worry about here. Now we can just jump straight across and then up this ramp. We're going to call this like the upper section. Just follow it along now till you turn in this road here. And now in this upper section, you just want to look to the left. And you will find a hockey stick. And wait for this to get done so we can back out. There we go. Here we should also have uh, the cake. Where where is the cake? Somewhere around here. I'm losing I'm losing the plot. There we go. Down this little platform. Get ourselves a little cake. Now I can back out of that one. Up to the very top. Now we're going to head to the right side. This is where we're going to find the newspaper. Oh, so pretty. Wow, you got a stickers board. That's awesome. And then we can continue further along. I believe. Let me just double check around here. Like so. And then you want to skip to the left side over here. Oh no, I've gone the wrong way. My bad. Ignore that. Sorry, skip straight across and you can see that the cake is right here. In the upper section there. That's all the cakes done for this part. That leaves us with just the leaf to get. And obviously the one more plant. It's another ribbon gained. So just skip by this plant here, all the way to the side and at the back here, you will find the leaf. That completes that whole picture, so we now have a complete picture. That just leaves us with one more thing to get, and that is the plant. So what we need to do now is go all the way back, unfortunately. All the way back to the beginning. To get the watering can. Whichever way around you want to do it. Didn't take us too long. Do 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 do. All the way across. Can hug this right side. Okay, I got across there before, but I guess it doesn't matter. There we go. So we just need to grab our watering can from the start. What I was hoping for was to grab the watering can and, um, and actually still be able to collect things. Oh, that's not allowing us. There we go. Yeah, I was hoping to use the watering can or grab the watering can and still be able to collect things along the way, but it seems to not work like that. So it's a bit unfortunate, but nonetheless, we can get this done and dusted. So again, just work your way across. Like so. <laughs> no need to rush like I am. I go up the ramp here, follow it to the right and jump across the creek there. Head upwards, then to the right. Or left, it doesn't really matter. Use these orange things straight north and just walk straight across this water and now what we want to do is water this final plant which is this this tree like thing with a red on dead center the very top of the area if you go to the waterfall at the back here you can actually fill up your water 
And this, guys, is going to get you the remainder of the achievements. So one, two, and one more, maybe. Boom, Shanka. So that's take six paws for that to work. And that will be the final achievement and the full completion of the game. So that should give you all the things unlocked, all collectibles. It should give you holidays, which is completed the sticker book. And it should give you sticky situation, which is collect, collected all the stickers. And that should be all 22 achievements done. And also just to note, uh, you should have the fancy ladies achievement as well that's unlock all the costumes by now uh, again you should have got that way back anyway that would have popped i would assume so that is it guys that is bluey the video game complete nice and easy not too long but long enough uh, if it wasn't for the cutscenes, we could have skipped through that much much quicker but it's fine. We've got it done. We've got the achievements. That's another completion to your list. It's another 1000G. It's another Platinum Trophy done and dusted. So thank you so much, guys, for sticking with me, to following through this guide. I really do appreciate it. Please do check out my other 100% guides. Uh, there's not too many, but they are. I am adding to them as often as I possibly can. So they will build up. And get you some more com game completions nice and easy don't forget to check out my weekly videos uh with quick and easy game pass achievements on so do check that one out uh, and many more as well so subscribe hit that thumbs up comment below let me know what you think and uh as always i appreciate you guys so so much thank you very much i will catch you in the next one peace out